How's it going, everyone? This is my update video for Greg Tech 6.0104. Just came out yesterday and added a little bit of things, uh, mainly for Harvest Craft and some things I pointed out to him that um, needed to be changed or could be added um, to make things a little different. No machines or anything like that. Uh, just mainly some recipe changes. Um, the first one that I can remember is a blaze rod. I remember showing you guys that a macerator would give you three, but I'm trying to do everything without IC2 machines. And the shredder was giving two small piles. Now it gives three as well. So it has the same shredder recipe. Um, trying to think of some of the other things that I know was changed before I get into the actual change log and that is about all I can really think of other than if you're using my pack or if you're using rotary craft he added netherrack dust um, unification between Greg Tech 6 and rotary craft so now it'll automatically um, unify over to the rotary craft one. All right. First thing he's got is he made the API core downloadable as a separate mod. So if you want to use just the API, not all the machines and things, it should give you like the Greg Tech 6 origin to your world. You can. Um, he fixed with EnviroMine warm foods being way too hot. It was raising your body temperature too much. Uh, a bunch of new, somewhat pointless, but logical materials and recipes. Um, I do believe this is mainly the Harvest Craft stuff that he's talking about, but I'm not positive. I do know he changed a lot of things with Harvest Craft, or that's mainly what he was spending time on. Um, he made different waxes, if I remember correctly, do different things. I'm trying to remember... It's been a long month of going over things with him. Um, the forestry can be used to make the Pam's Harvest Craft candles. I think that was already that way. Uh, okay, I didn't know about that one. That's an IHL thing. So you can extract beeswax to make the pipe sealant now. You can't just make it from beeswax. You have to actually run it through an extractor. Or you can do it in a distillery. This change I did not know about. So you got to have distilled water. Or can you do it with or regular water? to use beeswax from forestry or magic wax from magic bees refactory wax which is from forestry I do believe this is his regular uh, wax I'm not sure how you actually would go about getting that one I know he changed some of the recipes for flour. 
he added uh, barley flour and his own oatmeal, his own rye flour. I do believe there's his own, um, uh, what's it called, uh, cornmeal as well. Uh, another thing I know he changed was the water bucket to, uh, let's see, is it in Shapeless? The water bucket to fresh water thing was changed. Let me see if I can find fresh water in here a little faster. Uh, to where you actually have to give it water bottles. Maybe it was, uh, let's look up water here. Water bucket. I want the fresh water bucket though. There it is. See, you can't make it. I can't click on it to make it. But the uh, let's see water bottle. See, I was thinking he said he made a way where you could take a water bucket and make it into water bottles. Maybe it was milk. But, uh... That's the soy milk, chocolate milk, coconut milk, fresh milk. See, I can't get that either. But that could be something that I actually turned off. Not something that he turned off. But I swore he said there was a way of doing it now. Yeah, there it is, right there. Milk bucket and four glass bottles will give you four milk bottles that can then be used in Harvest Craft recipes. So there isn't the texture look of spawning in four wooden buckets this way you're actually using it and then when you use this you actually get the glass bottle back I do believe and you'll see it's used in every one of these recipes plus um, you can actually drink the milk bottle as well um, I think he changed the soy a bit see I can't make soy I disabled tofu because I'm a cannibalistic wait a minute I'm not cannibalistic I don't eat people I make carnivore damn it I can't believe I just said I was a cannibal I make carnivore I'm a meat eater I don't want that tofu stuff but I think he did a little bit of changing with tofu to uh, use a squeezer I think um, one thing I know he added was if I can spell, which we all know I can't, tungsten carbide. We now have a tungsten carbide, which I need to disable this recipe. I forgot to say something to him about that. But there is um, tungsten carbide in Magneticraft and Reactorcraft. And he's now made tungsten carbide able to be made in the smeltery with a carbon and a tungsten which is more expensive than the Magneticraft way but if you look it up on Wikipedia it is a one to one ratio for two ingots of tungsten carbide so that's why it is made this way and it automatically or dictionaries to the reactor craft one because it's the only one that wasn't in a or diction that wasn't or dictionary already. Um, nice thing about that is there is also um, tungsten carbide fluid pipes now. Rotors don't know if they're going to have a use. 
Um, you can use it for tools if you want. And there are, where's the regular plate? There's a regular plate. Tungsten carbide chest now. There is machine casing, but he'd have to actually use a machine to make it. But there's all your different tools and stuff that you can use with it. So it's not just something for another mod. It's actually able to be used in this mod as well. And I do believe it's got pretty damn good durability on it. It's level 4. Uh, 512 durability, mining speed of 10, attack damage of almost 6. That's pretty daggone good if you ask me. Uh, let's see. Next thing he has on the list is something that I do believe I brought on. I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but there is now redstone... Uh, mode with your molds now so I need to test that out I have enough aluminum over here to make me a another robust machine haul so I can make a heater so we can try that out uh, but supposedly you can run uh, red alloy wire over and have this change with the thermostat to be on and off. That'll make steel production actually automatable. Uh, let's see. Lumium wires can now be formed, foamed, and they will still emit light and the sea foam will glow in the dark if it is on. So I can't wait to get into the seafoam stuff and try all that stuff out that he's adding. I might go on to the server when Axel gets feeling better and can get to it and update it. I might go on there and play around with it a little bit, show you guys what um, it looks like before we can actually get to it in this world here. Um, recipes for sea foam from UB Rocks, that's uh, Underground Biomes Constructs. I'm actually going to be testing that a little bit, see how it looks now. I haven't played with it in a long, long time. I'm going to make a fresh world. Might even bring you guys in just to show you what it looks like. I'm not sure how compatible it will be with updating this world to have it, but if it doesn't cause too much lag and still looks as nice as I remember it looking, we might just add it if I can. Um, and in some cases, the sea foam will actually be pre-colored for whatever stone color it was you were using. Uh, lo lots of compact code was added. If you use Greg Tech Seafoam Can on an IC2 scaffold, you will get a scaffolded seafoam block, what is basically a cheap way to get RGB paintable and cover compatible seafoam blocks. Metal, metal scaffolds are working like in regular IC2. So, I'm guessing that means that you won't get the scaffolds back. I know in IC2, if you use wood scaffolding and you foam them, you get the wood back. But if you use the metal ones, you get like reinforced. Uh, there's one other thing I know that he did change, which I hadn't mentioned in the video because I didn't want to let people know about it, and that was marble. You can chisel marble of any kind over to Greg's marble, but there used to be another one right here in this box. 
there was a way of getting steel from marble because it lets you chisel to the reinforced and then you could melt down the reinforced and get the steel out of it and I let him know about that and got that taken away as soon as possible because that's just cheating we can't be having all that now so that's basically the update for this month um, I'm going to be going over some of the other things in Harvest Craft as I find them anybody that downloaded this update like as soon as it dropped go re-download it it's been fixed there was a crash in the first download that he did and he got that fixed immediately so give it another shot everything's working great now and I will let you guys go thanks for watching I will update my mod pack for anybody that's using it next update which will be the monthly update I'm not going to change it now for just this one uh, go to the forums download um, this update if you want throw it in and have fun otherwise it'll be in with next month's so have a good one.